your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, people down at Jeanette's Pier right now over the Outer Banks, they're walking along, they're taking a look at some of these uh, waves. You can see that a little bit here on the edge. Some of those waves are trying to come up a little higher, and the camera zooms out. I was hoping we'd catch it there uh, where you can see it just a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, the, the waves, they haven't made it to the top of the pier, I guess the bottom of the pier, pardon me, just yet, but they're trying to, and I think they're going to be doing that as we go through time. There you go. Uh, that's what it looks like right now in the wider view of Jeanette's Pier. All right, so... Hurricane uh, Maria is way out to sea, but it's creeping northward. And right now it's about 175 miles southeast of Hatteras. There's a cluster of thunderstorms around the center, but that cluster of storms is much smaller. Notice there's a big lack of uh, storms and clouds here on the western and northern side. That's a sign that it might be weakening, and hopefully it'll weaken even more as we go through the next 12 hours. But it is forecast to become a tropical storm. Right now it's technically a hurricane, winds of 75 miles an hour. It's moving north at about 7 miles an hour, give or take. And, uh, well, it's going to be just creeping along here. Now, here's the latest wind field. What, I'm, what we're looking at is the tropical storm force winds in yellow, and some of those are reaching Hatteras already. So that's 39 miles an hour or greater in the yellow. The hurricane force winds are well over here. They're east of the center. And with this storm moving northward, those hurricane force winds are not going to make it here, especially if the storm weakens. So bottom line is we're going to miss out on the hurricane force winds, but we are going to see some of those tropical storm force winds move northward along the coast. And so it's already made it to Hatteras, and then it's going to eventually creep north into the rest of the Outer Banks on up to, uh, let's say, very close to Virginia Beach. Along the ocean front, I think we'll get some gusts to 40. So here's the latest track. Winds of 75 miles an hour, moving north at 7 miles an hour. By uh, later today or tonight, it will become a tropical storm, so it will weaken, but still a strong tropical storm. Now, it will move off to the northeast, and this will happen late Wednesday into Thursday. Big system is going to come in and push it out to sea and give it a big kick, and so by the time we hit Friday, Maria is going to be long gone. The weekend, it's out of here. It's all the way over the North Atlantic. So that is the latest forecast from the National Hurricane Center. These are our hurricane models for Maria, and they are in agreement that it's going to move north and then take that curve and move to the northeast. They disagree at how soon that's going to happen, but they do all agree that it's going to make that impact in that turn. So some impacts around here for us. Uh, we've got some drizzle, scattered showers from Maria. Uh, we're not looking at a lot of rain in the region, maybe up to an inch, maybe a little bit more than that. We're talking about some high waves. By tomorrow, about 10 to 15 foot waves near the shore. Winds will be gusting to 30 miles an hour today. Tomorrow, some of the gusts near the shore, 35 to 40 miles an hour. That's along the coast. We've got mostly minor tidal flooding for Hampton Roads itself. For the Outer Banks, one to three inches of rain. I've gone a little high on that because you're closer to the storm. You'll get some of those rain bands coming in. Ocean overwash will be a problem along Highway 12. It will be a problem some today, more so tomorrow. Tomorrow, the winds will be gusting up to 60 miles an hour along the Outer Banks. Today, gust to 40 and then some uh, 10 to 17 foot waves near the shore on top of this moderate tidal flooding. That's what's going to cause that overwash. So for Sewell's Point, the highest tide will be Wednesday afternoon, 4.9 feet. We've got nuisance to minor tidal flooding up to that point. Today, 210 will be uh, high tide. That'll be minor, but uh, a little bit less than Wednesday. Duck, North Carolina, 6 feet. That's moderate. So major starts at 6.5 feet. We'll be below that, but we'll have to watch for updates to see if it gets a little closer. And Kip to Peak in Yorktown, expecting minor tidal flooding for tomorrow. Now the rain, yeah, we got scattered showers coming in once in a while. We've seen it mostly along the coast. We have some in here around Virginia Beach. There's a little bit now actually uh, picking up a little bit right around downtown Portsmouth. That's moving off to the west a little bit in Norfolk. And some more scattered showers, Manio down to mainland Dare County. And these showers will just keep on coming in from the ocean. So here we go. We see scattered showers moving in. And uh, this will be this afternoon into tonight. They're just going to be on and off. And when you don't have rain, you might get some drizzle. That's what we have out there in a lot of spots right now. Tomorrow through the day, we'll get some scattered showers again coming in from the ocean. The second half of the day, we'll get some more rain bands. It might set up for a little while in the evening, but then by Wednesday night, it'll move out and we'll start drying out by Thursday. Right now, temps, they're in the low to mid 70s. We got that drizzle that I mentioned. Highs today will be in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. We got that breeze coming in northeast, 10 to 20, gust up to 30 miles an hour, higher gust over the Outer Banks. Tomorrow, the wind increases. We see more scattered showers. And then Thursday, Friday, well, we dry things out quickly and we cool it down too. Big cool front is going to move through. Look at that. By Saturday, Sunday, highs will be near 70 degrees.